Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Amanda Nova, clinical nutritionist, holistic health practitioner, and applied kinesiologist. And today I'm gonna to show you points on the back of the head and neck that can be used for neck tension, neck pain, a stiff neck, whatever it is, these points are really great. And I'm gonna teach you how to do them on my lovely assistant, Rob, here today. But you can do these on, on yourself. So we're gonna start with the first point, which is at the base of the skull. And this is on the governing meridian. And it is right directly, if you bend your head over for me, Rob, thank you. And then bend it back. So right here at the, at the base of the skull. So you wanna use one or two fingers, totally up to you. I like to use two because it creates a neutral polarity and you're just gonna apply pressure. Anything with the neck, I always like to say to use enough pressure that you feel it, but not that it causes pain. Usually when we get into the muscles, you wanna have you know a, a larger amount of pressure because you really do wanna feel it, but you obviously don't want to, it to hurt. So that's the first point. The next two points are on the gallbladder meridian, and they are about an inch away from the point that we just did. And you can actually feel a little bit of like a hollow, kind of like a divot point. And it usually is relatively tender. If you, if you get headaches or neck pain, this is a spot that's gonna be pretty tender for you. So you can use your thumbs for this one. So you can kind of, it would, your hands would come like this onto the back of the head. And then you would just press your thumbs in, like so. And then following that, the next point is on the triple warmer meridian and it's actually an inch down from the ear. So this spot is usually pretty tender as well. It's a little bit lower than the other point that we were doing. Put your head back a little. There, thank you. Um, but it is about an inch down from the earlobe. So you're really working this whole area. This point I also like to do with the thumbs you also will be feeling an, and a little bit of an indent there as well. So after you're finished holding these, which you'll hold for about a minute or two at each point, you can massage them in circles if you'd like. Sometimes I like to just hold and see if you can just feel a release, but it's totally, totally up to you. And then the, the last point that I wanna show is probably my favorite point for, for neck, and this one really, really helps, but you have to use a great deal of pressure. So often I have Rob do it for me, but you want to press on top of the shoulders at a 90 degree angle. I use two, usually use two fingers for this one. And it's literally in the center from the edge of the shoulder to the neck and you're gonna push directly down and you wanna do that on both sides. And usually if you're having any cramping or tension in this, this muscle here that goes from the neck to out to the shoulders, which is really where we hold a lot of tension, a lot of stress, just from, from working, sitting on computers, etc. This is really the one that you're gonna to want to do. And this one you should feel a release pretty quickly. So you're gonna to wanna to hold those down for about a minute or two. You can massage that point, but this one really does well with that, just like direct pressure down. So those are all my favorite points for, for neck pain, stress, tension in the neck area. If you guys have any questions or would like to know more, please subscribe, like, do your thing, and leave questions in the comments. Thanks, bye.